Kevin Gillen with Advanced Leather Solutions. What I want to demonstrate today is the power of our cleaning and conditioning products that we've engineered specifically for baseball gloves. We call the product Mitt Spit. And so we have multiple products in the product grouping, one of which is a cleaner, the other is a glove conditioner, and we also have a break-in product that's designed for a new glove to soften it quickly to bring it into play sooner than uh, you would if you didn't have any opportunity to soften it. Now, what I also have is a glove that was purchased in 1957. This is an alkaline glove. It is, you can see the condition that it's in now, and we're going to do some testing with our cleaner, and then as we carry on with the overall process, we're going to do some testing with our conditioner as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do is focus my attention on this one section here so you can see the process. It's easier if I do a small section in the entire glove. In the end, you'll see the entire glove in its entirety when it's completed. The first thing I'm doing is I'm putting our leather lather glove on. So this is a glove that really gives excellent properties for helping the cleaner do what it has to do, which is to lift the soil particles off of the surface of the leather. This particular cleaner is pH balanced to the leather and has the properties of cleaning not just simply soil particles but also hand oils and that kind of thing. It also has an antibacterial component added that gives the leather a really, really nice uh, opportunity to avoid any potential growth of bacteria or mold, etc. So you can see the process, putting a little bit more cleaner on and then using the abrasive properties of this glove, I am scrubbing it into the leather. And as the camera is showing you, you can see the cleaning properties of this already. It hasn't spent a lot of time in, 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 with it, as you can see, but nonetheless, there is an effect. You can also see the soiling coming up on my fingers. So what I like to do is I like to leave it on the glove for about three minutes, but making sure that it doesn't dry. So I'm pretty liberal in application of the material in making sure that we have uh, enough time also to allow for the chemistry to work its way underneath soil particles and lift them from the surface. But let's take a look and see what this has done even in, a, in, a, in about a minute or so. Now look at that. Because this cleaner is pH balanced to the leather, it in no way is going to affect uh, the integrity of the leather. In fact, it's going to improve the overall integrity of the leather by rebalancing the pH. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue the cleaning process and when we're all done, we're going to do the video showing you the end result. And then we're going to demonstrate how we would condition the glove. We've now spent 10 minutes cleaning this glove. And so let's take a look at what we've been able to accomplish. So the glove is still wet from the cleaning process and we want it to dry. But it's amazing how clean it's become. The actual logo from the manufacturer, the fact that the alkaline uh, name is appearing, but you can see the effect of the cleaner. Uh, and so the cleaner, of course, it's not fully dry yet, but it, when it is fully dry, we will be putting it through the next step in the process, which is the conditioning step. What I would like for you to keep in mind, and oh, by the way, this is the soiling that we took off the glove. And there you can see the soiling that's still on my cleaning glove. What's important to understand is that we understand the science of leather. We understand the chemistry really, really well. We've been in this business 25 years, dealing with products that have been in people's homes, in automobiles, even products that have been out on the field and uh, used as suitcases and that kind of thing, where we're able to restore them, care for them, to prolong their life. A well glove, a well loved glove that is a 1957 Al Kaline glove has come back to this condition after 10 minutes of cleaning. We're going to let this dry for a little bit and then we're going to take it to the next level, which is applying the conditioner to make sure that we have it soft and supple so that it will last another 50 years. So now that we've cleaned the glove, we're going to take it to the next step of our maintenance process, which is using the Mitspit glove conditioner. One final word on the cleaner. It's really important that you understand that 
the cleaners that we manufacture specifically for baseball gloves are pH balanced to the glove and so they are in no way going to be harmful to the leather. In fact, they're going to help balance the pH in the leather which will prolong the life of the leather. So now on to the conditioning step. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our Mitzbit conditioner onto a microfiber towel and I'm going to put a small amount, as you can see it's not a lot, we manufacture these products in concentrate form, so they go a long, long way. I sort of smush it around with the microfiber towel, and then it's really simple. I'm doing a light wiping action. You can see how the conditioner enlivens the color. You can see how it gives a nice, healthy look to the leather. We're not putting a lot on. We're putting a minimal amount on. The objective of the conditioner is to keep the leather well moisturized, it's also going to allow for the leather to prolong its life by making sure that the leather retains the suppleness that is one of the most important elements for effectiveness with a baseball glove. So if you have any questions about this process, of course, get a hold of us. We're happy to talk to you. My name is Kevin with Advanced Leather Solutions. You can give me a call personally. I can be reached at 510 786 60 Five nine.